Hi there. I just want to share a few quick tips on how you can edit your course homepage. Uh, everyone in the board has been given a course for the 2021 school year and you might want to customize it a little bit. This is what the standard course looks like. You've got the NCDSB logo, your course name at the top. This is the nav bar and then you've got the homepage that you see here. This is kind of the default layout. If you like it, it's fine. Leave it. If you're wanting to dig a little deeper and do some editing in here and some customizing, I'll show you a couple things. So the first thing I'll show you is how you can edit and change the theme and change a few things in the nav bar. So over here on the right hand side, you see these three little dots that pop up. We'll click on that and click on customize this nav bar. It will ask you if you want to work with a copy. Yes, you have to work with a copy or else this won't work. So say yes. And now we're taken into the area where you can edit the nav bar. The first thing I'll show you is how you can change the theme. I've set the default theme to have the NCDSB logo and name. You can click on change theme and you'll notice I have already preloaded all the different school logos and school names. So if you'd like to customize it with your school logo and name, you can do that. There are some other old ones in here. Don't worry about those. So let's just click one update and now that will have Pope Francis at the top after we save. Uh, a couple other things you can do in here is you can edit what icons you see in your nav bar. So if you're not planning on using the quiz tool, you can X that out and get it out of there. Um, if you want to move around something you think it's more important, if you want to put the virtual meeting tool at the start of your nav bar, you can move things around. And you can also add other items into your nav bar. There are a lot of pre-made and icons that I've created over the years. There's probably not too many that are actually that useful to you from, from here, but take a look around and if you're interested, you can put something in. One of the big ones that people are very interested in is gizmos. It has to be added to your nav bar to make it work. So you can pop that right in there. Once you have your students enrolled, um, you can click on gizmos and get it started with that. So everything looks good. We've changed the theme. We've messed around with the nav bar. We'll save and close. And now you can see the changes I made that have taken place. If you're like me and you think that this image here takes up a little too much space on your screen, you can easily remove that by clicking here on the three dots and saying remove this banner. Again, that's up to you, a preference thing, but I like the look without the banner and I find it takes up a lot of screen room. Something else that you might want to do is you can change the name of your course if you'd like. Click on the down arrow and then course admin and course offering information. And down here, the only thing you can change is the course offering name. So I might want to call it Swartz Morning Class, who knows, something like that. And you can change the course name. And one of the last things you can edit and customize is the home page that you see here. So the widgets that you can view on the home page. This is a little more tricky, so you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see the three dots on the bottom. Click on Manage Home Pages. And right now there's no home pages that I can manage, but the default home page is right here, 2021 default home page. I can make a copy of that. Then I can make that my active home page, so 2021 default copy. I'll apply that. And here you can see it's now turned blue. I can click on that and I can edit that home page. So let's say I decided I want to use only announcements or only activity feed. I can take one of those out. Or maybe I don't want to use the content browser. I can take that out. And I can also look around and add any other widgets that I want to use. And again, there are a whole bunch of widgets in here. You might want to play around, but I've included the most useful and uh, the main kind of widgets that we normally use. And a lot of these have been just created and stored in here over the years. So I'd recommend kind of sticking with what you see, but you never know. You can also move things around in here if you wanted to move activity feed up or announcements down. Once you've made those changes, you save and close, and then your home page will take on those new changes that you made. Anyway, that was just a couple of quick things I wanted to show you. Some cool ways you can customize your home page, uh, customize it how, how you want to use it and how you see fit for your classroom. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Take care and enjoy.